At the Magic Circle, the legendary Mike Vincent recently gave another lecture. He received a standing ovation. This lecture was not just about sharing moves and methodology. It was a touching event that was a moving portrayal of his journey. Daily meditations, practice, creativity, and the stripping away at all the negative elements and issues that crippled his self-expression. It was a demonstration of courage and fortitude and aptly entitled, Rediscovering My Magic. It was also a masterclass on the exploration into our humanity through magic and the creative and artistic expression of reinvention. Staying with the Magic Circle, the Magic Circle's second annual convention takes place on Sunday, the 30th of July at the HQ, the Center for the Magic Arts in Stevenson Way. The Magic Emporium Dealer Showcase will be hosted at the Wesley Hotel. A star-studded day with amazing lectures and an international gala show. Acts will include FISM winner Mario Lopez from Spain. Tickets are now available. Member VIP Gold, £100. Member Standard, £65. Non-member, £85. Book here at the link below. Limited availability on a first-come, first-served basis. Congratulations to Tommy Burnett and Kenton Nepper, who recently achieved MMC status at the Magic Circle. John Sterk, MMC, this month, becomes the Society of American Magicians president. As many will know, the SAM president is always formally addressed as most illustrious. As is customary, the July issues of MUM always carry a cover feature on the incoming presidents. All presidents always have a motto for their presidential year. His is, magic is for everyone. Here is a clip he prepared for the Magic News Network. Hello, I'm John Sterk, incoming national president of the Society of American Magicians. I'm really looking forward to this upcoming year, and it's a little bit humbling to think that 100 years ago, Harry Houdini held this very same office, and now it's fallen onto my shoulders. If you're not already a member of the SAM, we hope you'll take a look at our website, magicsam.com, and check out our member benefits or to sign up. From in-person assembly meetings, to virtual workshops, to 100 years of MUM Magazine archives, there's a lot to experience as a member of the SAM, including our upcoming convention in New Orleans, July 23rd through 26th. Register now, and I'll see you in the Big Easy. News from Victoria Sky. As many will know, Victoria is apart from being a performer, is also skilled craftsperson, and her work has been lauded in Scientific American and elsewhere. Well worth checking her site out at the link below. Here are two illusion visuals she created back in the day for our producer, Anthony Darkstone. His name within the Five of Diamonds and his profile in a chalice. She often attends local woodworking classes. A recent session was on wand making. The wands that were made were donated to Camp Corey in Washington State. This camp offers free tuition to children who are critically ill. The facility has a new Harry Potter building built by volunteer woodworkers. The first three wands are the ones she made, and the group of wands are the wands of everyone in the class. Hi there, Alexander May here. You probably know me from all the sponge magic that I make and that you see on magic websites all around the world. But today I'm here to address a very vicious rumor that I've heard. I definitely did not kill SpongeBob SquarePants to make my sponge donuts. That is a lie, and I do not know where that comes from. Sorry. Anyway, nowadays, I'm too busy at the gym anyway to do things like that. Ah, oh, just give me a second. What?
news from Carol and Joe Given, who apart from being fine magical entertainers, are also the owners of the Theater of Dreams in Colorado. Carol sent us the following news item, quote, we were honored and thrilled to be backstage guests at Red Rocks to the Nate Barkadze show, one of the best comedy magicians on the planet. Stephen Bargazzi, former IBM president, is Nate's father. The family are the nicest people on earth, and it was terrific to see the sold-out show. Happy to state, we've been running the Theater of Dreams for some 20 years. We've had the best of the best performers here. The list is long and includes several top names in magic. If you think of a name, most likely they have performed at our theater. We are honored to have received the Best of Castle Rock Award. Hey, Matt Tessero here. Uh, favorite time. I wrote a book. The book's called The Fog Machine of War. It's sort of like uh, stories, advice, stuff for people in show business, and also probably stories for people who are not in show business, too. All of the proceeds from this book are going to a magic school in Bolivia, helping out the kids. I'm hoping that you'll buy the book. And then, uh, you know, we'll raise some money, get these kids some magic tricks, some instructions, you know, uh, maybe this is just a way of helping give back. Yeah, let's see if we can't help get some kids some stuff and get them where they want to go. Kids who love magic need to be hooked up with the right stuff. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Cole Blackbell, an international envoy for the Association des Magiciens Internationaux, is one of the instructors at Frenchwoods and depicted in the visual. Frenchwoods Festival is the world's largest performing arts camp, located over a thousand acres of hills, fields, and woods, bordering a private lake in the Catskill Mountains of New York. Their magic program has its own theater specifically devoted to magic, teaches magic from close-up to performing large-scale illusions such as sawing in half, levitation, appearances, and disappearances. At each session, they host multiple magic shows. The theater has a sound and lighting system so that attendees can get the full experience of performing as a magician. They also have several classrooms and performance spaces and teach a wide variety of classes that include card effects, manipulations, escapes, coin, close-up, and street magic, mind reading, balloon sculpture, and more. One of their most popular classes is Trick of the Day, where campers learn a new trick every day and get to take the trick home. Magician of the Month, Louise Andre Douglas, AIMC with Silver Star at the Magic Circle, AMI board member, actress, dancer, Scottish chef, and a fine magician who has performed in many countries. Producer's pick, quote, theft annoys me more than anything else, the purloining of effects from another magician. Some people think it's massive to steal the secrets of nuclear reactors, but to steal a card move is trivial. They're wrong, unquote, Ricky J. Trudy Monty Monteith, wife of renowned magician and past president of the SAM, Harry Monteith, has written a book entitled The Fatal Chord, a Sherlock Holmes-type mystery. It is available on Amazon. For a signed copy, send a message via Facebook to Trudy.
Too late to make our June edition with the names of the winners of various awards at the castle during the last week of May. However, here they are. Gate Town Bloom, Master's Fellowship Award at the castle. And here are the other awards. Dr. Michael, Magic Mike Likey here with my latest lecture. Now this lecture... The second AMI gala, entitled Une Celebration de l'Amitié Magique, took place on June 17th. It featured performers from France, the Isle of Man, the USA, the UK, Canada, Spain, Portugal, and Malta. Two excellent authors donated respective books as prizes, Psyched, written by myself, and Sub Rosa by Ariel Freilich. The winners were Peter John and Martin Duffy. Both winners were from the UK. For a mini review of the show, go to the link below. Whilst there, check out the rest of the site, link below. In keeping with bringing you the best, guesting on the Darkstone Dossiers and AMI production on the 15th of July will be Radic Hoffman a fine mentalist and magician that has been lauded by Mark Paul and others of equal stature. Look for details in upcoming posts and promo. All ticket holders will be entered into a prize draw and the winner will receive his book entitled The Book of M.
Sad to report, Ricky Boone has passed. Several awards, cover of the linking ring, and a piece our producer Anthony Darkstone wrote about him in MUM. Respect, R.I.P. Aloha, little big man, our producer Anthony Darkstone, in conversations with him, always referred to him as little big man, which always caused him to chuckle. Many tributes were paid. This one from Michael Finney encapsulates the words of many. Quote, he was one of a kind. I'd never met anyone like him. It happened in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, Winter Carnival of Magic. From across the room, I heard, Michael Finney's here. I want to meet him. People separated to make room for Ricky Boone. Upon arrival, he extended his hand and said, I've been wanting to meet you. I had no clue who he was. One thing I did realize, he was not shy. In the next few days, I found out he was a performing magician and was considered magic royalty. He was funny and had a great sense of humor, but you had to listen hard. People will know. This crumpled up little man in a wheelchair was living his dream and inspiring others. I would run into Ricky many times after other events. Same big greeting and same big smile on his face. I never saw him down. I guess because he was never meant to live this long. The odds had been against him from birth. He was a humbling spirit. He loved to talk. The last few years, I know things were getting very tough on him. We spoke a few months ago. He was still in great spirits. The magic world will remember big little Ricky D. Boone, unquote, from Michael Finney. As many will now already know, Milt Larson passed. Although many tributes have been paid, it is only fitting that we at the Magic News Network honor his passing and extend our condolences to the family. Neji Muakil Williams, who was for many years the official photographer at the castle, gave us his permission to use this video. Milt Larson is a writer, actor, performer, lyricist, magician, entrepreneur, and speaker. Perhaps best known as one of the founders of the Magic Castle, a private club of magicians and enthusiasts, Milt is also a member of the Los Angeles High School Roman class of summer 1949. Milt grew up in a family of magicians. His father, Bill Sr., was a performing magician, and his mother, Geraldine, was on television as the Magic Lady. Magic Magazine named the Larson family one of the 100 most influential magicians of the 20th century. Milt's father, who died just a few years after Milt's graduation from L.I. High, had always dreamed of having a place for magicians to gather, relax over drinks, and swap trade secrets. And just eight years later, Milt began to make his father's dream come true when he found a mansion on a hillside in Hollywood that looked like a romantic and mysterious French chateau. He told the property's owner about his father's dream of a clubhouse of magicians. And, as if by magic, the owner agreed to Milt's proposal to transform the mansion into the Magic Castle. In 1963, just 10 years after the death of his father, Milt realized his father's dream when the castle opened as a nightclub for magicians. But the castle also became the home of Milt's own dream, an academy of magical arts that would train young magicians. Milt also worked as a writer for TV and ventured into the world of musical theater, writing the book for several stage musicals, often working with Robert and Richard B. Sherman, the famous musical duel that wrote the songs for many Disney films. Milt served as a creative consultant for the Disney film Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. In 1956, Milt produced his first all-star stage review, It's Magic, which has been produced annually for more than 60 years. As an author, Milt has written several books, including his own autobiography, My Magical Journey, The First 30,000 Days. Not only has Milt appeared as an actor, 
Parts of his body have made their own appearances as well. He provided the back and hands of actor Raul Julia as Gomez Adams, performing his trademark trick, the tablecloth yank, in the first Adams Family Values film. His tablecloth pulling gag has been seen on many TV shows and films. Since 2006, Milt and his brother Bill have had their own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. L.A. High has already honored Milt for his accomplishments with a Lifetime Achievement Award. But this evening, we honor his service to the world of magic and magicians, his contribution to the education and training of future magicians, for his contributions to the joyous and magical world of entertainment, enjoyment, and enlightenment. L.A. High is proud to present Milt Larson with the Roman Spirit Award for making this world a more magical place for us all. We believe that the following words by Lance Burton, Paul Hayden, Mark Williams, and Neji Milwaukee Williams speak for all of us in our international magic community. Quote, so sorry to report that Milt Larson, the co-founder of the Magic Castle, has passed peacefully in his sleep last night at the age of 92. He helped create the look and feel of the Magic Castle and did a lot of the work as our gentleman carpenter. I will miss him, unquote Pop Hayden. Quote, I had the honor of knowing Milt for over three decades, during which he consistently exuded warmth, approachability, and above all, a great sense of humor. He was truly a remarkable and unforgettable individual. Milt peacefully departed in his sleep last night at the age of 92, leaving behind a legacy that will endure. His departure serves as a testament to his unique character. While we will feel his absence deeply, his memory will remain with us for a long time to come. Here's a photo that I took of the Magic Castle founder, Milt Larson, four days before he passed. He is seen here with the new owner of the Magic Castle, Randy Pitchford, at the Academy of Magical Arts Annual Awards show, unquote, Neji Muwakil Williams. Quote, sad news. Last night, Milt Larson passed away at the age of 92. Milt and his brother Bill founded the Magic Castle in Hollywood, California in 1963. Milt has been my dear friend for the last 42 years. Milt and Bill brought me out to the West Coast in 1981 to appear on the It's Magic show. It was Milt who informed me I was booked on the Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. That appearance launched my career and led to my first job in Las Vegas. On March 19th of this year, I saw Milt in Santa Barbara. I was performing in the 65th edition of It's Magic at the Libero Theater. I can think of no one who has had a bigger impact on magic or on me personally than my friend Milt Larson. My condolences to his wife Arlene, his entire family, and all the members of the Academy of Magical Arts. We knew this day was coming, but it doesn't make it easier. Aloha, Milt. We love you, unquote, Lance Burton. Milt was the inspiration behind the Academy of Magical Arts Clubhouse, the Magic Castle. He was one of the kindest and generous souls you would ever want to meet. I will forever remember his It's Magic shows, many of which I attended. I miss him greatly. Aloha, my friend, unquote, Mark Williams. Extract from Roman Armstrong's article, quote, one of Milt's other creations was Caesar's Magical Empire. Opening in 1996 and closing six years later to make way for Celine Dion, the immersive attraction, which featured at Caesar's Palace, combined a walk-through tour a dining experience, and state-of-the-art stage illusions for an extremely entertaining evening meal like no other. 
It's a shame it's no longer open. And finally, perhaps Mill's quirkiest credit was portraying Paul Julius' hands as Gomez Adams, performing the tablecloth yank in the film Adams Family Values. The full article can be seen at the link below. There are a lot of changes happening in Vegas and in particular to the Strip. Inside the major casinos, the odds have changed too. Gamblers lost almost $1 billion at blackjack tables in Las Vegas last year, the most since 2007 and the second highest amount on record, the WSJ reported. It's not just bad luck. Vegas casinos have made subtle changes to the blackjack tables. These include increasing table minimums and reduced payouts for winning hands. The house has typically paid 3 to 2 when you get 21 on the first two cards, but more Vegas blackjack tables are shrinking the award to 6 to 5. Well, just a little bit more of whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Most likely, it's your money. Thank you for watching. If you have not as yet joined our Association des Magiciens Internationaux Facebook group, ask to join.